What's up everybody, this is Ayud, and today I'm going to be trying to read a children's book without using the letters. So, the way this is going to work is that I'm going to be looking at the pictures of this children's book. This book is called The Value of Curiosity, The Story of Christopher Columbus. Now, I have not even gone into this book once, so I'm going into this completely blind, which I think should make it better, right? I think so. Uh, and, if I run, and, if, and the reason I'm making this video, well, the, I've wanted to make this video for a while now, but what, what made me uh, do it today is because my headphones broke. My headphones are broken. These ones that I've been using for months at this point, they broke right, it broke right here, and then now it's all like weird. I just, I don't like it. And whenever I try and wear them, I look like a freaking idiot, as you can see right there. I mean, the audio still works, but I just look like a freaking idiot whenever I put them on. Therefore... Um, this, that gave me a reason to make a non-gaming video today, because if I was actually making a gaming video, I'd have to wear my headphones. And then I would look like an idiot, like I said. Like I've said several times, actually. Anyways, The Value of Curiosity, The Story of Christopher Columbus. Oh boy, okay, the first page is blank, I love that. The Story of Christopher Columbus. Okay, so... This is just the main cover art, I guess? I have no idea, man. Okay. Uh, next page. Okay, I'm not gonna look at the... I'm not gonna look at the the letters. Okay. So what's happening here is... It's a little boy. It's a little boy, uh... God, this is... Books are weird, man. It's a little boy looking out... At a ship. He's probably like... Dang, those sailors are... Pathetic people, right? He's probably thinking that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, he's just a little boy looking out to the great big world. Um, maybe he was bullied because of how big his feet are. You can clearly see those um, enormous feet. They're giant. Well, I guess that sums up that page. And we shall go to the next, to the next page. This one. Well, the picture spans two pages. Why? Why do you have to do that? Okay, I'm not even going to look at the, okay. I'm not going to cover up the letters, but I'm not going to look at them on purpose. So, here we have our little boy from last page. He's talking to his other two friends, and they're, uh, they're conversing about how big of losers those other sailors are. That's what they're talking about. See, these three? These three little jerk holes? Well, those are little kids, and they're talking about how, how much of a loser the sailors that are in those boats are. That's what they're thinking. Oh, and these birds? That's just Jerry and Larry. Those two birds right there? That's just Jerry and Larry hanging out. Anyways, we shall move on. Okay. Okay, <laughs> I have some things to say about this one. Uh, so this page, we got the three little jerk boys. And then we got jerky boys. Then we got these two guys. Those are their fathers. Who are going to give them... Um, who are going to teach them a lesson about why sailors... <laughs> I don't know, man. This is hard. Okay, looking at this picture, I'm pretty sure that guy is the same that as that guy. That guy is weird. So, I think these... Actually, I don't even think that's their dads. I'm pretty sure those are just two strangers that are talking to these kids. In which case, these guys are really weird. And this is what that. This is the weird guy. This is the weird guy that's talking to a bunch of kids. And uh, he's making a big, scary, weird face. And the kids are like, Whoa, dude, that's a big, scary, weird face that you're making. Seaweed Tavern. And then the next page we have this thing. It's our little boy talking to this cre this weird guy. Um, he's gonna buy some food clearly, and he's gonna feed it to the seagull. Remember Jerry and Larry from the last one? This is uh, Jerry came back, and he bought food over here to give it to Jerry. See, you know this kid. He's a real good kid. He's a real good kid, honestly. He's a real good person. Okay. Um, Jerry is talking to our little kid here, and he's like, Hey, yeah, you know what? Uh, um, uh, Jerry over here is, um, talking. Remember how I mentioned earlier that our main character kid, he was bullied in school for having really big feet? Well, Jerry wanted to give him a life lesson. Jerry says, Boy, it's okay to have big feet. I have pretty big feet. Honestly, having big feet is better. Because you can walk better maybe i don't know actually never mind you're stupid big feet stupid kid anyways jerry's a jerk as we can know because he hates kids with big feet he was trying to be motivational for a second but it didn't work out 
anyways, we have this page. Oh, okay. Um, this is Jerry and our main character kid, but grown up, I think. And he has his feet have grown in. He has grown into his feet actually. So now Jerry's his friend because Jerry, he's actually extremely. He has he holds a really strong prejudice against people with bigger feet, and uh, yeah, so he's a terrible person. And now they're working together, and they're looking on a map because they're trying to find. They're trying to locate where they're trying to locate where area where the Illumin the base of the Illuminati is. That's what they're trying to do. And right here, look at it. the travels of Marco Polo. Fun fact: Marco Polo was part of the Illuminati. Maybe I don't know, but that's what our main character is doing. <gasps> look. They found something at the shore, at the beach. They found something that... I, I don't even know what that is. These guys are weird. Uh, but the point is, in the next thing we look, we can see our main character talking with this old, with this old guy. And uh, this old guy is inspecting the thing that... Uh, he's inspecting it, and he's uh, like, Whoa, where'd you get this? And he's like, I found it at the beach. And then the old guy is like... Uh, you know this thing's useless, right? It's just a piece of wood they found at the beach. Calm down, man. And the thing that with our main character is with that information is that he's like, Jerry, we're, we're losers. We've really accomplished nothing in life. And they decided that they're going to sail across the world because they're just... They don't even know what to do with their lives anymore. They're just like... They just, they're giving up. They're going to... They're going to exile themselves to some other part of the world. So... Here's what happens. Um, he's talking to the king and queen of England, and the um, he what the, there's also a creepy soldier in the background. He's talking to the king and queen, and he's like, "Dude, uh, I, I need advice for life." And then the king and queen are like, "Hey, you're a loser, man." So then our char our main character gets super sad because the king and queen of England just called him super sad, Elizabeth II. Why do you gotta be such a jerk to our main character? So then. Uh, Jerry's like, you know what, it's not all bad. At least we get to be losers together. So, yeah, that's pretty epic. And now, they're actually going on their voyage, and everyone's like, yo, dude, yeah, you're such a loser. Good thing you're getting exiled. So, yeah, everyone's being a jerk to our character. And look at it. Um, our main character probably has depression at this point, so these are all of his inner demons that he's fighting with. So, yeah, I feel pretty bad for him. All of his inner demons circling the world. And then we have him talking to uh, some people and he's talking about uh, well, uh, well I think everyone knows at this point how big of a loser he is and how much everyone hates him so he's discussing the best way to get to rid himself of the, of the land uh, Jerry's just watching Jerry doesn't do much he's just a uh, he's kind of sits there and does whatever he's a bird he doesn't have much responsibility in life anyways the Sun is shining above with a big smile looking at Jerry and a main character are going exiling themselves because they uh, they're such big losers and the sun is so happy that they're finally going away these big losers that's what the sun's happy about and they find a bunch of weird they puke they puke uh, he they brought a bunch of people on the ship because they gotta make sure that they properly make sure that these two losers are gone and because of how big of losers they are the entire crew that isn't Jerry and the main character puke because they're just so disgusted and appalled by the main character's face. I mean, I can't blame them. Look at this guy's face. So, they, um, he meets this guy, this black guy right here. He meets him and he's like, hey bro, you're a cool guy. You got a, like a weird green hat and he is a wizard. And this wizard tells him, dude, you're actually a genius because you're about to uh, reach some land or uh, and but fun fact the black guy the black guy wizard genie boy he actually doesn't know what's on the island so yeah he just knows that there is an island but he knows information that most people but they don't actually know what's on the island so my character's like bro what could be on like yo what could be on the island man and jerry's like whoa we struck gold i thought we were losers but apparently we're epic so then this person's here, and he's like, You know what? I hate you. You're not going to get to the island. So he blows the ship away. He blows it away. And now everyone's really sad, and everyone's like, Oh, I don't know what we're going to do. What are we going to do? We're just stuck on these, on these boats with these two losers. What are we going to do? 
well, they, uh, Jerry and this guy, main character, get talking, and, uh, they realize that they're actually doomed for eternity, that they're not gonna get anywhere. So, you know what, they start talking, and they realize, hey, wait, main character, you have big feet? Yeah, and the main character's like, yes, I do have big feet, and they're like, did you know that if a sailor has big feet, they're des they're uh, they get destiny or something? That's the prophecy. And they're all like, "Whoa, bro! He has big feet. He's the chosen one." Because there's a prophecy of a chosen one with big feet. And all the birds come and they they bless him uh, or something. I'm not sure what's going on here. And then boom! You know what happens? Uh, something happened. Oh, they sh they fire a cannonball. Because the prophecy also says that you need to fire five cannonballs. And then the prophecy will be complete. So then, uh, they eventually, they find some land and they're like, Whoa, bro, what's going on here? We got some crazy land. And the the moon, the this guy that we saw earlier, he was really happy that the lo these losers were gone from England. But now he's like, oh no, are these losers actually going to be really successful? And he's hoping they're not. But then, he's actually smiling, uh, because he changed his mind, I guess. So they're all arriving on the island, and they're really excited. And then they meet these guys. These, these guys, uh, they hate them. And, let me skip a for forward a few pages. So these, these guys are working together, because they need to fulfill the prophecy of the big-footed one. And, they, uh, they get really drunk and happy. And... Then they travel from unknown to from known lands to unknown lands to known lands, and then we have these two guys. These two guys realize that they're actually not losers, and everyone who told them that was actually a jerk. And now these two guys are the richest people on earth because they actually invented. They got so much money that they invented Amazon, and now they're super rich. So yeah, that's pretty much how the story goes. Here's another uh, illustrated photo of uh, our main character, Christopher Columbus. Yeah, that's another photo of the stupid guy. So, yeah, I just told a extremely uh, heartwarming story of a boy who was bullied for having big feet. And everyone hated him, and he was a loser. So then they sent him out on a ship on the middle of the ocean so that he could die in the middle of the ocean. But then he ended up fighting an island where he found a bunch of people, and he got drunk with them. And then he got so much money that he invented Amazon. So yeah, uh, I was going to... Okay, so let's actually read a little bit of the story. I'm just going to skim through it a bit uh, and see... Okay, I'm going to read the beginning part because I'm actually curious what this part says. Once upon a time, long ago, so long ago that most people still thought the world was flat... There lived a little boy named Christopher Columbus. Little, little Christopher liked to stand at the window of his father's weaving shop and look out into the port city of Genoa, Italy. What do you suppose Christopher saw when he looked out? And what do you what do you suppose he thought about? Okay, so now we're on the page where he's talking with his friends about how much how much of losers the sailors are. This is also the first page we meet Jerry. Uh, remember Jerry and Larry? Well, only Jerry. Well, Jerry was more important to the story, but they were both there. Why? He saw the ships of the, in the harbor, and he thought about how they sailed far, far away places. Of course, the ships didn't sail as far as they do as they do now. In those days, the sailors did not like to lose sight of land. One day, Christopher and his little brothers went down to the wharf to get a closer look at the ships. You know, he said one of the Christopher's brothers, If you sail too far from shore, you end up in the sea of darkness where no stars ever shine. And monsters hide out there in the dark, said the other little brother. There's an ocean of seaweed that catches ships and holds them so that they never get away. I wonder if all that is really true, said Christopher. Okay, uh, I'm going to skip forward a few pages. We're going to go to the part where the bird comes, okay? Where Jerry comes into the story. We're going to go skip here real quick. Um, he was standing at the rail one day looking out into the water when a seagull swooped down and landed almost at his elbow. Hi, Chris, said the bird. My name is Sea. Seagull. Okay, I've been watching you. And you look as if you're thinking about some very important thoughts. I'm curious. Just what were you thinking about? <gasps> okay, so this is the part when they both realize that they're both huge losers with big feet. And, uh, uh, well, after this, they get exiled. Christopher blinked. I don't know. I don't know that seagulls talked, He s said he. But then he laughed out loud. Of course seagulls didn't talk. This particular seagull was just a make-believe friend. It was Christopher himself having fun pretending that he could chat with the bird. 
Well, Mr. K, uh, you can call me C Interrupted the Bird. That's what they name me because I like to fly around and see things. Okay, you understand how it is. I'm curious. Curious, Christopher. I don't know what that word means, but it means I have a lot of curiosity, said the bird. I wonder about things. I try to find out about them. Well, said Christopher. I guess I have a lot of curiosity myself. I was just wondering what about what's on the other side of the ocean. That's great, said C. When will you try and find out? Just as soon as I can. So, uh, instead of talking about how big, huge feet they have and how they're losers together, um, they ended up just <laughs> being curious together. Uh, I'm going to skip to the part where they meet the Native Americans. Um, okay. Um, here it is. No. Here it is. Okay. Why? These must be Indians, said Columbus, when some people with red-brown skin came to greet him. Columbus made a very natural mistake. He thought that he had landed in the Indies. So even though these people didn't look a bit like, like the yellow-skinned people Marco Polo had described, he called them Indians. Now, of course you know Columbus actually had landed, don't you? That's right. He was in America. He was on the island of San Salvador, off the coast of America. The islanders were very friendly. They didn't seem to mind being called Indians, and they showed their island to Columbus. They showed him some neighboring islands, too. They couldn't show him any emperors or great cities of gold. They didn't have any. Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little disappointed, said Christopher Columbus to see. So, uh, yeah, I don't really know. A bunch of blah, blah, blah happens in the story, blah, 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 Christopher Columbus. But, uh, let me go, let me skip to the last page. Not everyone has to be curious, of course. It's up to you. But if you're curious, you may find out some wonderful things. Yeah, and invent Amazon like Christopher Columbus did. Whatever you decide to do, let's hope it's something that'll make you happier. Just like our curious friend, Christopher Columbus. So, uh, with that, I'm just gonna... Close the end of the story. Because that was a beautiful story. Of a young boy with big feet, achieving the biggest dreams, and becoming the richest person in the world. I hope you can do what Christopher Columbus did by being curious or something. Whatever. The, I don't even know what the heck the book was about. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I'll see you next time. I'm a horrible person.